Lord. Dean Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, folks. I wonder if this lighting's a little green today. It's still dark out. We changed the time. You know, we set the clocks back, and it's supposed to be lighter earlier, and it's almost 7.30, and it's so dark out. But we do live in a valley here. I'm settled in a valley in Oregon, and the fog kind of hangs in there a little while. So anyway, Today I have a, uh, a really good word. It's called the word or the flesh. Now, before you click off on this video, it's a word of hope. Amen. It's a word of overcoming the flesh. Amen. We will struggle with this flesh, church, until we meet him in the air. Amen. And this is a lifelong struggle for all of us, for every generation past. Uh, present and future until we meet him in the air. So don't hang up yet. This is going to encourage you. So again, the word or the flesh. And I wanted to take a moment and thank you so much for all of your prayers. And you know, we have this prayer card here. And I pray over during the day, my prayer partners are on the channel praying. And then when we're done with these prayer cards, about every several weeks, I forward it to my prayer, other prayer partner, and she will lay hands. It's in her Bible, and she lays hands on these and continues to pray. So, and also, you can write me your name week after week. If you have health issues, family issues, whatever it is, it's okay to write me. And I know most of you know this in the comments with your first names week after week. We will continue to pray week after week, often for the same people, because we want to stand in the gap in faith and wait for the praise reports. Amen. And please, if you have a praise report, write it back in. You know that God's helped you. You're feeling better. Your finances have been helped, whatever it is, because it encourages all of us. Amen. And once again, how you give to this channel is through the in the comments section up next to the share arrow. You'll see those three dots and you click those three dots and uh, you'll see the heart with the dollar sign. That's called the super thanks. We don't interrupt with commercials. I just want the flow of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes this platform will do that. But for the most part, I think. Um, you know, we will go uninterrupted, you know, as at the front, as at the back end. Amen. So I wanted to also remind you, I try to remember with each video to put our post office box. I've just started a post office box uh, at a local business. And he's a Christian fellow too, so we're helping the kingdom. And if you have any problems, we're still uh, praying for PJ, you know, taking care of her elderly parents. She couldn't get into the comments, but she can listen to the messages. So we're going to pray for PJ uh, for a while too. Uh, you know, she's been sick helping her elderly parents. Amen. So uh, do write to the post box. Feel free to do that. I may not be able to send out answers to everyone, but guaranteed I will read everything, folks. And um, I will do my best to respond, but sometimes I know I won't, especially over Christmas. I'll be gone eight days and um, I've been working really hard at getting these messages ahead to stay ahead of you folks. Amen. So I've kind of yacked a long time. Let's get on to the word here. Uh, Matthew 26 today, chapter 26, and we'll read 36 to 46. Then Jesus came with them to a place called, called Gethsemane and said to his disciples, sit here while I go there and pray. And he took with him Peter and two sons of Jebedee and began to be grieved and distressed. And then he said to them, my soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and keep watch with me. And he went a little beyond them and fell on his face. My father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, so you men could not keep watch for one hour, keeping watch and praying that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. And he went away again a second time and prayed, saying, my father, if this cannot pass unless 
pardon me, pass away, unless I drink it, thy will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. And he went them again and went away and prayed a third time, saying the same thing once again. And then he came to the disciples and said, Are you sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Arise, let us be going before the one who betrayed me is at hand. Amen. He already, of course, being God, he already knew what was coming down. And yet three times he prayed to the Father, is there any other way? While the disciples slept. Amen. And our flesh is weak, isn't it? We are in these human bodies. We fall short day in and day out. Amen. Okay, the word or the flesh. Oh, my loves, in this life, many choices, many roads one must choose. Uh, some today a choice to make, my word or your flesh. Even now the struggle uh, at even the sound of these words. Even now you struggle at even the sound of these words. So this is hitting somebody right now. The time is short, my people. Time to consider the matter of all eternity. My loves, these choices not only affect you, but those round about. How often you speak my words to them, yet turn again and give into the flesh. Oh, my loves, I know your heart. I know you only wish to serve and to speak on my behalf. Yet this is between us. Did I not shed my blood for all, not just for all of mankind, but for all? So, my love, yet again, stand up and do the right thing. I am the God of forgiveness, a God of another chances and another chance glory. Was not my David a king, a king that fell time and time again? Was he not a king for his God and people and my anointed? So, child, do not take up the lies of the enemy. Do not wander around the city in defeat. Glory. This is one who listens to the voice of the enemy. You are a child of the King. The Holy Spirit lives within you. You are my anointed glory. Let no man fill you with words otherwise. Perhaps you need to take in my words deeper and deeper. Pray not in unbelief, but pray in faith. Your flesh is weak, but my Holy Spirit will allow you to overcome. The enemy will always speak of your weaknesses. That's important. The enemy will always speak of your weaknesses. He will bring up our weaknesses time and time again to discourage us, right? To, to damage our faith, right? To pull us away from Christ, but even for a day. Amen. Oh, child, this has been his trick and lies for all of time. No, his days are numbered and his voice will only become stronger glory these are his ways from generation to generation yet this day once again i meet you i am ever faithful and ever forgiving oh my lamb put the flesh down one more time i will use all of this i will use all of this these battles and when we receive the victory when we have victory these battles are used mightily for the kingdom of God, for his glory. Amen. I will use all of this. Yes, my child, even the turmoil of your own making. I will use all, all for my glory. There are others who struggle in the flesh. Did I not shed my blood because uh, of this? Has not a man always wanted his way? his own delights. Of course, child, child, I know you better than yourself. I see what you hide. I even understand why you are hiding. I understand this weakness. Now, child, seek me when you feel weak. When you feel yourself falling, walking, walk among my trees. Go to war against the forces that come against you, my child. You will go through the battle. You will grow closer to me. You will have the victory over your flesh. You are a child of the king set apart for such a day as this. Thank you, Lord. So, my child, I pull you away from the crowd this day. The battle you are fighting is not uncommon to any man. There has always been these choices put before all men. The word of God, his plan for all of mankind, life everlasting. Or the flesh of man, the escape has already been laid out before you, my child. Again, I know your heart. I know your faith. Yes, yet I know your struggle uh, in this faith before you. 
remember my lamb. I know you better than yourself, glory. You have chosen the way of the Lord. Yes, the enemy has laid out before you the road leading to flesh again and again. So, child, hear me today. I am speaking out boldly. Uh, to you today so that you will hear my voice again turn away again and turn away again the flesh is weak but my voice is louder again cling to the truth within you my lamb I love you so today and forever thank you almighty God thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord maybe we're just going to pray about this today maybe we're not going to read this again maybe you need to read this over and over again remember Every one of us battle against the flesh to one degree to another. Sometimes we over, some of us overcome much easier than others. Others, it's a, it's a longer struggle. Amen. But I'm telling you, church, I know in my own life, it builds your faith. It builds your faith. The longer you put the flesh away, and you soon will see victory because you're praying in faith. You are God's child. He is saying to you, he understands the struggle of the flesh. Amen. As he walked the earth, church, he weary, he tired. He in his humanness, right? Physical humanness, his body tired. Amen. He must have gotten tired of hearing the same old complaints from the disciples that walked with him. Amen. And yet his forgiveness, his love, amen, his blood covered all. So be strong today when you have the urge to sin, walk among his trees, worship the Lord. That's what that means. Go out among his trees, whether it be in your prayer closet, whether it be in your car, get away and lift up holy hands and praise the Lord and stand in faith that this battle of the flesh will pass. It will pass. You have the tools, you have the Holy Spirit living within you, dear ones, the Holy Spirit living within you to fight the battles on, of this earth. Amen. Soon to be done as we meet him in the air. Lord God, I pray for those today that might be struggling in the flesh and they might say it's the same old thing over and over again. But Lord, you are able to take them through this journey. You forgive them again and again and again. And yet the enemy with his voice upon their shoulders begins to speak once again. How weak how weak. And yet, Lord, you speak in this word, Lord God, that you are made strong in our weaknesses. We will be overcomers, Lord God, because we have the Holy Spirit. You shed your blood for us this day, Lord God. And we thank you for your forgiveness, for your blood covering, Lord God. We thank you that we serve a God that is alive. We have a relationship with you, almighty God. You are our lover. You are our friend. You are our mate, Lord God. God. And Lord, once again, we lift up holy hands. Lord God, we thank you that today is another day of repentance, perhaps in our life, Lord God. But Lord, we are we dust off our knees, Lord God, because you love us so, and we move forward once again. And then we walk among your trees, Lord God, or go into our prayer closet, Lord God, as we struggle, Lord God, with these fleshly bodies. And Lord God, we will until we meet you in the air. Bless your people. Your will be done in each life today, Lord God, and their families, Lord God. We stand upon your word that our family members will be saved will come to you lord god will repent of their sins and we will stand in the gap for until our very last our last breath lord god that they too might be saved might be forgiven thank you lord thank you lord that we can come to your throne room in our in our fleshly weakness lord god be revived lord god because your holy spirit lives within us because you forgive us because you love us as no other and we give you the glory and the honor today in jesus name in Jesus' name, be with each one today, the blood covered, be upon them and each one in their family and their extended family. Keep your people safe today in these turbulent days. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We give you the glory and honor this day. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. 
God bless you. God be with you. If this is a bullseye and you're struggling again today in your flesh, send us your name. We will continue to pray for you until you get the victory. And victory will come because you are a child of the King and you have the Holy Spirit living within you and moving through you. Be a vessel today to someone lonely and lost. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. God bless.